two, get one, live. Hey everybody, we're live at Incredible Tiny Homes in Newport, Tennessee. Are we live, Tom? Yep, live. Ten Good. seconds in. Ten seconds in. We'll give a little bit of time for everybody to kind of get pinged. I bet people are, we'll see, they're in traffic maybe, traveling, hmm. they're at the office, maybe at home. Let's see, what are some peculiar spots that people might be like, hey, IT, the world's stopping. ITH is on. All the red lights just turn red. <laughs> is everybody time? All right. Thursday. What is today? The 5th? Yeah. Today's March 5th. Everybody, we want to, I want to cover, we here at Newport, Tennessee have started a community. All right. So back a year and a half ago, we purchased some land from Newport, uh, the city of Newport in Cock County, Tennessee, right? About 45 miles out of Knoxville, um, 70 miles from Asheville, North Carolina. And we love it here. The city sold us this property on a land contract. We're paying for it. We got probably another three and a half years to have it paid off. We're excited about that. We paid it down quite a bit. Um, but we never thought that after we, when we bought this, that we would ever have a community living on the property. Now, the reason is because we're kind of an industrial park. So because of that, we got an industry across the street and at the other end of the property. Well, we got about 10 acres of pasture or wooded area, eight acres of pasture area, and then we have some big concrete, like 200,000 square feet of concrete. And a big section of it is out front. So if you're just tuning in, you may all know this if you've kind of been watching this. I started a forest community called The Forest. And I figured out this infrastructure is gonna cost about $6,000 and we're about on budget, okay? So I needed 30 people to commit to that. And believe it or not, I walked out in the woods and Amanda and I filled it and said, hey, I need 30 people to participate in this. Who would want to give $6,000 deposit? And so I sweetened the pot because we'd never done it before and we wanted to build trust with you all. So I said, you know what? If you give me 6,000 for a deposit, I'll use your money for the infrastructure and put in a, a community. Well, what I did to offer back is that when you move in, when the infrastructure is done and you're ready to put your house in there, that's when your date will start and I'm giving two years free rent. That's to pay you back for your deposit. So not only did we get 30, we got 68 people send in $6,000 to live in the community. Now, we started this over a year ago due to the massive rains we've had, sewer delays, we're still now not done, but we're almost done. We just started today. The last one third of the sewer is being installed today. It is so exciting. We've already started the main primary electrical. We just purchased all of our water lines, all of our meter centers, all of the electrical, all of the secondary electrical. Everything has been purchased, paid for, right? And we're getting ready to put it in. So depending on, we got a stockpile of gravel out there. And the gravel is a special gravel. It's a reclaimed gravel, but it's a brown and it's crusher run. It's really, really small pebbles, right? And I've also got some geotech fiber that we put down because that whole area, okay, is kind of like a riverbed because we have the Pigeon River behind us. So we do have property on the Pigeon River. It's hard to get to because we've got a railroad track between that piece of property where we're at. But it's kind of river property, so the soil is not real compactable. But when we put the geotech fiber down, then we'll put about six, eight inches of gravel. It packs really nice. And that's what we're going to use in all the lots, the driveways, and the roads. All right. So I'm putting the roads in. I'm responsible for roads and upkeep and all that. All you have to do is when you move in, you'll have two years free rent. And then after the two years, I charge $200 a month to live here. All utilities, underground utilities, no overhead lines. It's not going to look like, you know, cobbled up or anything. City water, sewer, power, of course, and high-speed internet to every single lot. The lots are 60 feet by 60 feet. You park your car, you got some woods, you got your house, you got some woods, and then you got your neighbor. Okay? That's kind of how we laid it out. So not only did we get 68 there, we thought we would do a, a beach community. I called it the beach because it's on the concrete. Well, we want to show you tonight, if we can go out there and show you what we've done, all the concrete has been cut. Now, just because we didn't have to bulldoze trees and roads and dig up, it's still $6,000 deposit because we have to cut all the concrete, pull up the concrete. A lot of vegetation is going to be bought and planted. 
we got 38 lots out there. Um, no, I, I'm sorry, 36 lots. Is it eight, 18 and 18? Yeah. 36. 36. So you have 36 lots that we're going to have. Okay. And each one of them, the, the lots are about 30 by 40. Now they're smaller because we didn't have as much space. So we created a real intimate space with your neighbors. It's not for everybody, but it's wild and popular. It's going to look really, really nice. It's also good for overnight rental, Airbnbs. It's going to have that tropical theme. We're looking into it. We're looking into, um, we still good? Yep. Still on air? Still on. All right, we had a phone call come in. <laughs> but it's going to be, it's, we're, gonna, we're buying palm trees that are frost resistant, some bamboo stuff, all kinds of just different evergreens, and going to fill it full. Now, over the years, it'll become more and more and more, um, you know, tropical looking and enclosed. And then, of course, we have the prairie. Think about it. And the, the, the beach and the prairie are about half full right now. Now, it's still the same deal is a $6,000 deposit because we didn't get our 30 in the beach. And I probably put the cart before the horse, but I want, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to get that done because people that want to come in or need a place to stay, we actually will have our infrastructure in and we can hook you up. All right, so we'll have lots available. And then the prairie, I had some really cool ideas today about the prairie and what I want to do. And it's, it's like... This slate, and I get to just paint what we want. We're gonna have farming in here. We're gonna have some animal stuff. We're gonna have some orchards. You're gonna have some grapevines, a vineyard, and stuff. You know, uh, we want public bending here, like a, a shops that people who live here who want to sell things and they want to make things and we'll open it to the public. So it'll be like a little shopping area, right? So it'll be like, and I'd love it to make it look like some little village that you get to go and shop. That'll be out here in our pasture. Anyway, we have all that going on in an industrial area, right? Not, yep, you have lights at night that are over here. You got noise from the factories. You can hear um, trucks backing up. You can hear forklifts running. And it's and I've always been open and honest about all that. And But all in all, everybody that's ever been here, seen it, people that are living here has never said anything about it. But it's, that's why I'm only charging $200 a month rent. And it's going to be a big community, all right? So that's where we're at. We're going to take you tonight, and I'm going to show you what's going on in the beach community. So... On top of that, we have been approached across the street, 160 plus acres. I've known about it for years. Always wanted to buy it, didn't have the means to do it. Really don't, really did not want to do it right now because I want to fulfill what we have. Soon as we have these communities in, the marketing of our community and our company is going to skyrocket because there's no other company and community in the country that is doing what we're doing. So. That came up for us, 162 acres. I'm like, man, it's $250,000, all right? So I went ahead and started this campaign, and I thought, how can we make this work, and how can we make it work where it's good for you guys, and it's a deal you can't pass up? So I'm going to explain it again to everybody and let them know this is how it works so you understand. And I just got off the phone with the mortgage company. They told me how it works and, and uh, how the 20% down will work. And they said we should probably know about our financing the first of next week. It was super exciting. All right. Are we good, Tom? Yep, we're good. Any questions? How many lots in the prairie? In the prairie, right now, well, I don't haven't numbered them off. I know we're going to have a, a minimum of 40 lots in the prairie. Yeah. 36 in the beach and 68 in the forest. Now, in the forest, there's two and a half acres of a park that we've left. The reason we have a park... This used to be a Firestone um, plant back in the 50s. They built a Firestone company here, all right? There's tires. They built rubber tires. They put all the rubber tires in that two-and-a-half-acre parcel. You can't see them. It's under the ground. When I bought the property, the city of Newport and the county and the, and the uh, Chamber of Commerce, when they sold it to me back in the 90s, the EPA come and did a study and made sure they cleared everything in here for toxic waste, toxic anything in the soils and all that. So the two and a half acres used to be a dump site for tires. Well, that's why the soil cannot be disturbed. So what I did is I said, you know what, let's leave it the way it is. Now we can build on it. If we do floating footers, we can put every, you know, we just can't dig and put infrastructure in. So I said, you know what, let's make it a park. You know, we could have, I thought about putting an off-grid community on it. 
because they don't need to dig anything. But I said, no, let's just make it a two and a half acre park and it has trails winding through it and all around it. So we call it a little central park, all right? So that's the history of the community and what's going on here. Um, of course, we are on the Pigeon River. Anything else, Tom? No, no, Beth wants to know if we're doing a watch and learn tonight. A watch and learn? Yeah. I don't know, what are we doing? No, we're not doing a watch and learn tonight. What's watch and learn? Well, they wanted to know how to do the polyurethane floors and all that, but we didn't have time to get that set up. Listen, it was just like the day went and came. Yeah, yeah. sorry. We should just, we'll just end the show. <laughs> we do a watch and learn. Sorry, buddy. So I'll come back tomorrow. We'll do a watch and learn. So you don't want to learn anymore. There's, this is a big deal for us to, I've had a lot of calls about the resort and our communities. All right. So, um, and everybody's gone. That's why I thought it'd be good news. Okay, um, the resort is 160 acres, and if you've already, listen, if you already know about all this, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Um, yeah, no lots left in the forest. I think there's a waiting list for get on a couple of them. Yeah, there, I, there might be, just, you know what, if you want a lot in the forest, send your name in. Mm -hmm. I know there's, um, might have been some shuffling going on, so... Please just email us and we'll see about getting in the forest. Yeah. I if think. you want in the resort, if you want in the resort property, right? I have terrible penmanship, everybody. Can't spell for nothing. All right. So what I figured in the resort, here you had to put money down as a deposit and you get two years free rent. Here in the resort, all you have to do is purchase a 10 by 26, a 10 by 28 or a 10 by 30, or anything bigger, anything you want, all right, bigger than that. I think this is 58,000, I think this is 62, and I think this is something around $66,000. Now, on top of that, if you were to buy either one of these, you get a 20, you pay a 20% down payment on each one of those, right? So 10%, is 5,800 bucks, 20% is double that, so it's what, 11, 12, two, something like that. So if you have $12,200, that's your down payment, all right? So you give a 20% down, that holds your lot. I need 40 people to make this possible, all right? So we're looking for 40 people that want, want to do this. Now, included in you purchasing one of them homes. What you're getting on top of that is you're going to get a plus $9,000, right, of amenities. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so 9000 of add-ons. Add-ons, extras. extras. And what you're getting, you're going to, and this is a Freedom Style Home. So if you go on our website, it's called a Freedom Style Home, and these are the prices you'll have. What we're going to do, we're going to add to that Freedom Style Home, we're going to add an extra dormer. All right? We're going to stain and finish the outside. We're also going to finish the wood floors. We're going to finish the countertops. And we're going to give you a bigger fridge. And that might sound silly, but if you're going to live or rent this out and it's such a big home, you're going to have more people in there, you need a bigger fridge. Countertops, we usually sell them unfinished. Floors, sell them unfinished. Outside, we don't stain. This is all included. This is a, almost, this is over a $9,000 upgrade extra, just giving it to you for purchasing a home in the resort. Now, if you get 20%, right, we're also now waiting for our financing. Our financing should be in and ready to go the first of next week. Okay. Next. What's the question? No, go ahead. Uh, stairway? St in stairs, yes. All right. And then they want to know once it hits 40, do the prices change from No. There? Do we know yet? We want 80. You know. Come so, on. So same deal so far up to 80. Same deal. And, yeah, same deal. Yeah, we're good with this. We're okay. good. Now, including in the $9,000 extras, you're also going to get two years free rent just for buying the house. I talked to three ladies today 
They said, this is like a no-brainer. You're going to buy a house. You're going to get two years free rent. You're going to get $9,000 worth of amenities. And if you want to rent your house out, you want to rent it out. And we'll rent it out every night like an, a nightly rental. We're going to be, do our management, uh, our management um, company. You get two years of 0% charge. That means we won't charge it. If you rent it out for 100 bucks a night, we will send you $100 a night. All right? We won't take anything out of that. Usually there's a fee, like a 20, 30, 40% fee that comes out of the management company. And I'm going to tell you this right here. I'm not locking you in. So let's say in two years, you don't want to be here anymore. Leave. You can go. You're not, you don't have to sign a lease with me. If you want me to sign a lease with you, I'll give you the lease for two years. If you don't want to sign a lease with me after that, you're good to go. You can move your house. You can leave. Also, including in this $9,000, we are going to set your house up for you. All right? I'm going to pick it up, and we're going to tow it over to the property. We're going to level it. We're going to set it up. We're going to plug, plug it up with electric power, sewer. You're good to go. Don't charge it. All you have to do is move in. All right? Now, if you want a deck, and you want steps, and you want some other things to it, we can build them for you. But all that is included, just you just have to buy the house. Now, we got financing, hopefully available, next week. And the financing is yeah. you take the 20%. I just got off the phone with them. You give me the 20%, the company building the home for you, ITH. You subtract that from here. So if you're going to subtract 12 two from that, right, minus 12, you're looking at $46,000 you're going to finance. And that all goes in because they show that we got the 20%. We verify that. You're going to borrow $46,000. Well, let me do the financing end of it. And they don't have to stay two years, right? You don't have to stay two Lynn years. Lynn was asking. Okay. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah. You mean, yeah, it's already prepaid. So. But you don't have to. Yeah, hey, you, you get in there and you don't like it, see ya. Yep. But you, all you're doing is buying a house. Yeah. You're not putting a deposit down. I mean, it is free. I'm giving it to you. We're just trying to sell 40 homes in yeah. there. All right? And with the 40 homes, and what makes this possible is the financing. Right? Yeah. So we've got about seven or eight cash buyers, but if you do the financing, so the finance, am I doing this right? Um, financing. Sure. Well, All right. 650 plus credit score. 23 years of uh, amortization. How you do that? I don't know. Amortization. Then you've got, what is that? Five to. I think 11.9% financing is what they're going to charge. Mm -hmm. All right? People yep. are slapping me. <laughs> I only one or two. I'm going to kick them out. All right. <laughs> and then, um, so your payments, your payments can be anywhere from 500 and under 500 bucks a month. Isn't that great? You don't pay, you don't pay nothing for two yeah. years. You don't pay <laughs> rent, lot rent or anything. All right? You will pay for electric and water, whatever's over there, that charge over yeah. there. Yeah. Can you pull that forward? Yeah. Sun on. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense? Yep. Okay. So that makes it possible for So we're looking for 40 people, right, to jump on this right here. So if you want this house with 20% down, you're going to finance $46,000. And if you want this one, you're probably financing about, what, 50? And here you're about 54000 right there. Any questions? Nope. In school here. Not, not as of right now. Yeah. All right. I know I've done this over and over, but hey, everybody, this is going to be done here in about 20 days. We have. Ben wants to know, so what if I want to put a craftsman in the resort? Some of those amenities are already included. Yeah. What do you mean? What amenities? I guess the add on extra stuff. In a craftsman? Yeah. A craftsman's a bigger one. Yeah. Um, the craftsman doesn't have dormers. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a setup fee. But it does have the finished countertops and the flooring. Perfect. You want a craftsman? We'll build a craftsman. You got right. it for sure. Exactly. Our freedom and our jails were built for people that didn't want to spend or could not spend on the craftsman, which is so much customization is involved in it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? What else? Nope. Nope. Yeah, everybody, click the like button. Like uh, Fitzgerald asked. Thank you. Cool. cool. Now we got 20 days to make this happen, everybody. 20 days and counting. Mandy just got off phone and she goes, make sure everybody tells 20 days. All right. So we got 20 days. We want to make this happen.
okay, by March 25th. Now, I've got a stack of papers to call tonight. I've got, um, I've called five today. I think I've got about 11, 12 more people to call. So if you're interested in this, if you don't need financing, you'll have first pick of the lot in there. So if you don't, I think we've got one, two people that have paid in full already that they're ready to go over there and they want, they paid in full and done with the resort. Okay. Yeah. So if you want anything like this, we got till March 25th and I know probably you're waiting on the financing to be verified to make sure. But what we're asking everybody is if you have the 20%, right? Mm -hmm. You can send a check wire, send it now. Right? So we got a full count. I'd like to really know if we have 40 people, they're going to make it. If it does not go through, and we don't get the 40 people, we will refund your money. Yeah. All right? All right. So Felipe was asking, uh, will he build higher than 13.6 if the home stays in the resort? Perfect question. Tom and I were in the truck today. Remember that guy yeah. called? And was that Felipe? <laughs> was, it, was it you, Felipe? I was I talking to you. I'm sorry if it was. Uh, but I was talking to either you, Felipe, or somebody else. Hmm. And he was talking about it. He, and I said, you know what? Why don't we go taller than 13.6? Not Felipe, but All right, perfect. Him up. I'm so glad you said that. All right, our height of our homes, right, on the wheels from this point to the ground is 13 foot, 6 inches. Yeah, we usually leave a little. It's under that. Yeah, inch or two, something like that. Yeah. So what I want to do. It was Ronald. If you think about it, yeah, Ronald, if, if uh, we go across the street, there's no overpasses. There's nothing we can, you know, we're going to impede on the height. If you guys think, hey, I'm going to be, you know, there for a while and you want to leave it there, I don't care to go taller. Yeah, we'll have to find out what the, the maximum you can pull down the road in case they move it. Yeah. So they'll have to get an oversized permit and then we'll find out the max. Yeah, we can do that because uh, Tom and I built one it was years ago. We built one that's 14 2 and I took it to Texas. So yeah. it worked out fine. Yeah, we just, and the permits were like 150 bucks to well, go yeah. all the way from here to Texas. Uh, Overhyped wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Now, so think about it. At 13.6, your loft, all right, in here, okay, the bottom is 80 inches high. That's from here to here. And then your loft in here is about 43. 40 to 43 in a freedom in our yeah. jail. Yep, yep. Now, if you go, well, that's right. If you go 10 foot wide, it scrunches that down just a little bit. But anyway, if you want to go 14 feet tall or even 14, two or three, we'll find out how tall you can actually get. I know I'm building, we're building a house for Steve, I think out in Utah. And he said out there, you can have 14, 15 foot tall stuff down the highway. Wow. Out west you can. But if you add six more inches to that, you're almost looking almost 48 inches tall. Yep. You but know, you're almost to a craftsman. You're almost like to a craftsman, and you're not having to spend the extra money on the trailer and the drop, drop axles. Axle. Yeah. So it's it's a it's kind of a neat thing. We were talking to Ronald today, and, and um, him and I were talking, and I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. So if you want a taller home, we'll build you a taller home to go over to that resort. Yep. All right? All right, everybody. 20 days, March 25th is when we're going to do this. Hey. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. What would increasing the height cost? I guess it would depend on how much, right? Yeah, let us think about that. It, you know, hey, let's put it this way. We got a lot of guys, a lot of people want this. We'll yeah. work out a deal for you. We're just wanting to build some homes, everybody. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We won't, we'll make it happen for you. For yeah. sure. We'll probably, uh, you know, depending on, Tom, really, if, depending on the, the loft height, we may just make the rafters longer. Right. You know? Yeah, a little steeper, and we can go up a little higher on our studs, too. It'd look nice. Um, all right, so a couple of things. Does your payment start after the home is done or after it is in the resort? Your payment is, yeah. starts after... Okay, good question. Your payment starts... And that's what somebody I was talking to last night said, too. Let me put it this way. And that's why I started the beach, and I want to get it done. All right. Your payment... On your home, okay, starts. Sliding's odd. Okay. When home is built. Chat for, they want to chat with Tom Thursdays. <laughs> chat with Tom Thursdays. Yeah, it'd be like a five minute video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and I'm sure your question is, okay, I got a house that's built. 
I can't live in it, I can't rent it out, and I'm making payments on it, right? Well, that's where we're here to try to mm. help you. What? Oh, go ahead. A couple more questions. Go, go. Price on the lightweight wood yet? Nothing on that yet? Nope. nope. Haven't done that yet. Been a little bit preoccupied. Anything else? Yeah, there's a couple. Go ahead. Too many to read. Go ahead. They're flying in. Aren't yeah, they? I'll go back. Okay. Tom's I'm learning how to read these comments. It is tough. Um, but what we're trying to do, if we can, because we've got our other communities going, I'll put your house either on the beach, okay? Yep. On the slab. Let's call it on the slab. I've got probably, we probably got what, 12 home sites out here? Yeah. So we can put it on yeah, the beach. We can put it on the slab. Or if we're in the prairie and it's done before the resort's done, we'll put you in the prairie, okay? So we want to help you. So if you have your home done and you need a place to live before the resort is done, we'll try to accommodate you just like we've done with all these folks out here. we got about 12 people living out here waiting for the community to be done. So we'll do that. Um, so we haven't figured out what the upgrade is on the lightweight wood yet. We're still working on that. Yeah, we haven't done that um, yet. And then... This has kind of kept me a little preoccupied trying to keep this going with you guys. Yeah. And then we'll get into the... And then Cindy said you need to still call her with your her estimate in hand. Don't forget. Her what? Estimate in hand. You're going to call her back later? Cindy? Yeah, I think so. If I read that estimate right. Estimate in hand. Okay. All right, I'll do that. If if Cindy knows that, she needs to just give me a call. I'll be glad to talk to you. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. I'll have to go back to it. Oh, that's fine. Um. All right. We good? Yep. You know what, everybody? I know you love to walk through our tiny homes. Let's go out there, Tom, just for a quick pass Okay. Through. All right, let's go. There'll All be right. a there'll be a ground at the box, Mike. At every site, there'll be their own hookup with a ground there. So yeah, the electrical will be grounded. Yeah. There ground? there will not be a ground rod for the trailer. I don't know that we'll need one or. Well, um, RVs are not grounded. No. You know. But at the hookup, there'll be. The main panel the ground. The main panel is, is a ground. Yeah. 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 And the cable goes from there to there. Yeah. So if you want to hook up your trailer to a ground, if you wanted to, I guess you could run a ground wire to that same ground rod. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Be no problem. Um, and and all, everything here is passed by inspected by the state. Okay. Everything. I mean, we got state inspectors doing our homes and our communities. Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll go real quick. All right. Here. Let's go. They said I'm doing awesome. I got one awesome. Thank you. And then, uh, how will they be tied down? Well, if you want them tied down, we yeah. don't have anything out here tied down. No. If you want them tied down, they can be tied down. It's uh, normally out there, you can dig piers and tie them down, or you can do what? Radio. Oh, yeah. Let me get radio. Radio! All right, we're working on this, caulking this one in right now. Yep. The board and batten, we caulk on both sides and then batten straight. Yeah. This is a lot too. All right. Um, but what was we talking about? Tie downs. Tie downs. You could use the big augers for the mobile homes and they're a spiral that can go in and then you hook these hooks. To them. See this hook on the side? These are now coming with every home. We had them with our craftsmen for years, yep. and then but putting them on every home. And so you would tie this down to an auger or a strap, and that would get your house tied. Yep. Yeah. So, but everybody, this is a 10 by 24 house right here. So you're looking at this type of home in the resort. So you're looking at a board and batten, or a lap siding, or a V groove siding. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to upgrade to any other siding, that'd be great. You can upgrade to anything you'd like. But this is a big 10. The spray foam 10 by 18, this one. 20, 10 by 18? Yeah. Yeah, the, the 24 was moved out. Oh, okay. Right. Yep, 10 by 18. Let's see the spray foam in here. That door's going to be cut out later. It is. Yep. It's a little narrow now, but it's going to be cut out. But this is, this is our spray foam, everybody. We do every home like this. We own a machine, we spray it, and it's an expense. It's hard to run, there's a lot to it. Now we gotta come in here and we'll shave all this and expose our two by fours, yep. peel all this off, and make sure it's working right. All right, so that's what we have to do. Yep. But this is a prep. We've been walking in this house all week, and uh, 
it's a big house, but yep. we're looking at 10 by 30, and this is 10 by 18. Yep, so another 12 feet. 12 feet on top of that for $66,000. There's nobody in the country building for that, and then adding all the amenities to you, and giving you two years for your rent. Somebody said I need to calm down because I sound like a sales guy. Well, what are we trying to do here? I'm trying to sell. Time to sell some homes. <laughs> Sell, uh, all right, well, rental cover all cost, i.e. Rental only costs the rental of the earth. You pay for Mortgage, nothing. water, power, sewer, take land. Take care of everything else. After the two years are up. After two years up, you always pay for your electric, water, and sewer, power, yeah. internet. So it's, what, 200 a month plus that or somewhere on there? In the resort? I, they didn't say resort. Here it's or $200 just, a month. Okay, resort. We don't know three. what the resort's going to be after two years. It'll probably be two to $300. Yeah. Yeah, the resort's more upkeep. The resort is in a mountainous setting, so the roads and everything is a more upkeep. There's going to be more maintenance over there. We're going to have more amenities over there. If we can get 40 people, we'll probably we'll end up having some sort of wedding venue because we want to promote overnight rental. Now, you can live there full-time, too. You do not have to rent your house out. When's my birthday? <laughs> May 31st. Um, will ITH be tying them down for them? No, not unless you will. Well, we can. Yeah. You can ask us, and we'll, we'll tie we'll them down. Let's figure it out, yeah. We got to charge you for it. Yeah, we got to figure time. out what it'll cost. And yep. Yeah, we'd be glad to. We can auger it down there and strap it down. Sure. Yep. You ready? Cool. Let's yep. do a couple more and get out of here. All right. We still doing the uh, beach, maybe, if it'll get signal? I'd love to. You want to run out there? If it'll get signal. Yeah, let's see what we got. This might get this one today. Everybody just... Yep, now this is the board and back, and this is the maintenance free side. And these guys are caulking every single strip in here. Yeah, 3476 is my most available. 3476. Yeah, they're asking about the picture windows. Yeah, your picture window? Yep. That, there's one right there. Let's look at that. Yeah, I've, what, I've been here since 97, and I, I don't think I've ever seen a tornado here. Have you? Nope. Not here. Nashville, of course, is much flatter. They get tornadoes. Yeah, and they get, between Nashville now, we got the plateau. Right. And then that's west of us and east of us is the Smokies. Um, there was one tornado that hit about 70 miles south of us. Yeah, but. In 1989. Yeah, like all right. So since 1997, since I've been here, I don't remember any tornadoes. Yeah, I've been here since 86. Yeah, okay. Here's one of the windows here Tom's talking about. That's not the side, that's another side. Yeah, that's another side. That's a 36 by 60, I believe. Yeah. And this is a freedom style with a dormer, everybody. Yep. So this would actually be 10 by 30 that we're offering. And you can, you guys can play with the floor plan. I've got a couple floor plans that I suggest you go with, you know, for an overnight rental, you always want a bedroom on the floor. If you go 10 foot wide, that way it accommodates anybody that doesn't want to go up steps. So this one's got the loft. You can see the, the dormer that's up top here. Bathroom at the other, living room in the middle. What's this, Tom, 18? It's eight by 18, I, yeah. Yeah. And you've got a full-size bathtub back here. We showed this last night. I just want to show it again because it's kind of neat because you do have a stackable, stackable washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. And in here, you've got a full-size tub, vanity, toilet, and a big bathroom in here. All right? So that's yeah. a full-size tub. I was, got in here last night. It was dark last night. Look here. I mean, you're in a full-size tub, and I'm a... Big guy. Yeah, like 6'8". I mean, I'm like 6'8". Look at me. I can just like read the paper. I'm good to go in the bathtub. Right? And so it's a household bathtub, full toilet. I got tons of room. I mean, I got, I got some more reading I can do here. And the vanity. The vanity, very seldom do you find a vanity in the back, a small, you know, a tiny house because you don't have room. Here you've got room to set stuff. you got drawers. This is a nice size bathroom. Yeah. Also in an 18-footer, everybody. So you come out of the bathroom, living room, mm -hmm. right? And kitchen. Done. I think this kitchen is going to wrap around a little bit. Yeah. But you got a kitchen, living room, right? Washer and dryer where Tom's at, full bathroom. And then you got another upstairs with the bedroom. This cool. is a nice layout. This is a nice layout. Yep, you got this big window, you got a screen door for breathing, you got another window here, one up top, and one in the bathroom. Yeah. So we'll build anything. Uh, floor plans, it doesn't have to be our floor plan or our models. We just put them out there to give you suggestions to go by. What we got, Tom? You reading any comments? Yeah, they're just talking. What you 
another one we're doing. RJL. Uh, yep, RJL. And I'll show you real quick what's neat about this is they're getting ready to probably wire it tomorrow. Um, this is the sprinkler system. So we're coming up. We're putting sprinkler heads in all of our homes now. <clears throat> I want to do that just it helps me. I wish I'd have done it at the beginning of our all upper homes. All right. We're starting to add, add our homes. Yeah, we don't have a 10 by 30 on the lot, do we? That's not occupied? No. No, we got a 10 by 24. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, some I of have, the... I do have, and I sent... We had 75 inquiries for the resort a couple weeks ago. And on that, we sent out a floor plan and a 3D digital uh, video of what one would look like. Yep. But it had a 10-foot covered porch on it, too. Okay. If you're interested, I can send that to you, and you can see kind of what we're talking about. All right. Yeah. Email info. Email info. At IncredibleTinyHomes.com. All right. This is, this is Bryce's house. He's almost done on the inside. Um, we're hoping he can get that done in the next couple of days. He's ready to move in, get done. The heat is in it. This is real modern looking, so it gives you an idea of what we'll do. Just about anything. And then here's your traditional country farm style looking house with the main side, flat side. Let's see, Tom. Look at. I'm not trying to go fast. So you don't see imperfections. I'm trying to say, okay, what do we got here? Um, when we do siding, this siding is, is starting lower than this one because we got brake lights here. Right. So they got a little strip here. So this board here is going to go over here. So now as we go up, these guys are trying to make these things are parallel to each other as they go up. And believe me, you don't think of those things, it gets out of hand really quick. And also, the line of sight, when you look past that door, you want these two lines to be parallel. Now, that's just common carpentry, but you wouldn't believe how often that's not look, that's looked over. Also, we got gutters. The gutter has to start high on one end and slope at the other end yeah. and not looking like it's going downhill. Right. That's hard to do. Gutters up on the dormer. You got a solid window. You got an egress window. This is a, a vent for a bathroom. Okay, so there's a lot going on. Um, we caulk all inside here. The nail screw holes are caulked. This is all caulked down through here. Um, we put little boxes here. This is your outdoor outlet. They want to know. Actually, what, buddy? They want to know if six foot three can stand in the bathrooms. A six yeah. foot three? Yeah. You're six foot three. I'm six two, barefoot. Get so yeah. Here. You got your shoes on. Let me walk in the shower. Let's get you in the shower, man. Let's get rid of the shower. This one, we'll have to go in another one. You can't get in there right now. Oh yeah, yeah. The washer dryer is being set. The washer dryer mm. is going to sit in here. Look at this beautiful kitchen. Yeah. Nice. Love it. We've been in here last night. We were in here. Right. But the collar beams, all this here. Or look at this thing. Yeah. That's a trash can. How much uh, height from the ground to the bottom of the standard windows? Well, this is a 3x3. Three three. And what do we have in there? This is a 3030. And you yeah. got 44 inches from here down. Yeah. 3030, so 3040 would be a foot less. Like over here, well, this is 36, so it's really 40 inches to this sill. Okay? Yeah. That's, a, that's a, just a little bit tough. So looking 40, about 40, because then you go up three more feet, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's 83. Yeah, inches. Mark said he's 6'6, six, six, so he needs headroom. We, uh, who was that basketball player? It was like 6'8. Eight. Eight. So we OCD. built his OCD. Yep. Yeah, we built his to fit him, so it can be done. Yep. Stanley was, OCD played for Uganda. Yeah. Professionally, yeah, and he was he was tall. Yeah, he was tall, six yeah. eight, six nine. Something yeah, we like made that. his we made his ceiling inside his loft at seven. Okay, seven so he just had less room up top, more room in the bottom. <clears throat> also, we can take some beams out of here. This is decorative beams, so we yeah. can engineer this so you don't have because the ceiling is higher underneath here. Yeah. You know, so yeah. this is six foot eight. Yep. This is like six two. Yep. Six three. Six four. Six four. Yeah. yeah that's right. It's about four inches in there. Yeah, I can fit over there. Tom's got a couple yeah. inches. Yep. He's three with shoes. Um, yeah. Whatever happened to the morning workout? Randy showed up, but nobody ever did. Nobody else did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it. It's so weird because guys get here at seven. 
And then they get here at 8, and it's like, people don't talk much around here in the morning. They just got to get fired up first. Yeah. 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 I got here and made coffee. Yeah, we made coffee, <laughs> didn't you? Yep. Well, once we get a facility, we, get, right. we get a gym going here. I'm going to have everybody piled in. Yep. Hey, here's the bed. Is it on the Yeah. Okay. This is a bed that we built this morning in the house, and they've got it on this roller thing. Yeah. This actually pulls out this whole bottom. I don't want to raise it too much. Yeah. But this pulls out, and then this flips over. Right. right here. They'll have it set tomorrow, so we can, after we it's all up. set, it'll be easier to. Yeah, because the hydraulic jack is not in it yet, but this is one of our beds. This, it's awesome because it can be a sofa and it can be a full size bed. Yeah, when I move there from Belgium, I will need 240 for my electrical appliances because I have a washer dryer. That's no problem. We can do 50 amp. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't bring anything from over there and it's all 60 hertz. Yeah, that's right. a pain. We had a yeah. our, uh, spray foam that way. Yeah, it came from China. It was 50 hertz, I guess. Something like that. One or the other. Yeah. Yeah. It's, everything's 220 over there, isn't it? It's everything's 220, but it's a different hertz. Yeah. Yeah. We're not, we're not like set up for that. No, we do 220 though, so we can do the 50 up 220. Who's from Belgium coming here? Um, they say? I'd have to scroll back up. Yeah. Oh, I Daniela. Daniela's coming here? I, yeah, she I guess. Watching us for a while, man. That's oh. awesome. When I move there, she didn't say when. She didn't say when. Teasing. No. What's the dimension of that bench? It's probably 28 wide or deep, 20 tall, and uh, around. 80. Well, the inside of the house is 88 inches, so we yeah. try to make a little bit less than that because you got windows right. and sills and all that. So it's usually in your in a in a bed is what 80, 81, 78 to 84, yeah. depending on the king size. So what we custom build that what you'd like. Yep. Where's a place near that you can buy mattresses? I don't know. There's a foam place in Morristown, right? Yeah, and you can get them custom. I know I would. We don't do the foam or the upholstery. Um, yeah. That's just really up to you guys. But we we've, we've done it in the past. But it's two pieces back and just flip it yep. yeah or they can buy a futon mattress or something yeah yep yeah make one and we'll hold in the middle but look, look at that beast see guys y'all can have different colors on this what's the matter i was looking at my forklift you got different colors of cedar shape it's not cedar shape it's shaped shingles and that's the maintenance free siding up in the gable the horizontal the different color for trim and windows yeah um and also hey i want to point out that you can get tan windows you can get tan clay or white. Now we were offering, um, you can get colored windows too. We don't know how durable the color will land, um, hold up because we were, I didn't know if they extruded the, the plastic with that color, but come to find out they paint the windows. It's not a full color inside now. Yeah. What's the matter? No, he said do a wheelie with a forklift. I can do an endo, not a wheelie. <laughs> Tom's reading all the comments. Trying. Yeah. So, hey, that's a nine footer, right, Tom? That 10? Yeah. That's a 10. Yep. 10 by 20. Yep. Yep. I love these houses. Yes. And I love them with wood. I love building them with the wood. This is they're getting ready for siding. And that, while they're doing the siding, they're wiring it, they'll insulate it, and they're done with the siding, and then we jump inside and finish the inside. It's a real cool process. And um, this is back up. What's this one? We get another outdoor shower. Yeah. This is cool. We just That's because we're building four for the same person. Oh, that's right. These are yeah. rentals. That's yeah. cool. So we came up with this frost freeze, frost free shower, exterior shower that you can reach in here, keeps it warm, doesn't freeze, take your shower head, hook it up here and use it. Yeah. yeah. What's so. the cost maintenance siding for a 24 footer? The the maintenance free siding, I guess they're asking. Maintenance free? Yeah. But I don't have my phone on me. Six, Calculate it. Yeah, we have to figure it up. Six dollars a cover, square foot coverage. Yep. Six dollars a square foot. And that takes care of trim and everything. And that gives you so when you figure it, you're here eight foot walls. So yep. you go eight by twenty four, eight by eight, eight by eight, be your gables and your dormer, and that'll come up with your square footage that'll really get you close. Yep. On your prices. Man, we about killed it here today. Yep. All right. You guys good? Hey, I'm sorry to bring on the resort every day, because probably if you're if you're a loyal follower. You've heard the pitch on the resort in our communities, but it's a big deal for us. Yeah. And I think it's a great offer that we're offering everybody. You just buy a house and you get two years free rent. 
in a resort. You gotta buy a bigger house. But so if you're interested in the bigger house, we're offering this offer. After that, we won't offer it anymore. We're trying to, hey, it's, you know, we're saying, hey, if you can come on the resort, it's great. Also, if you want that same offer, we will do it here on the three communities that we have, the beach, the prairie, and the forest. Cool. We All right, what size bed do you have up in there in the, uh, in Cindy's house? Is it a twin? In Cindy's? The yeah, one Cindy Ken? Yeah. It's a queen. Oh, it's a queen. Oh, you can put a king up there. Okay. Yeah, hers is big. All right. Who has that? Cindy. Cindy. What does outside, outside shower cost? I'm cool. trying, Rhonda. Um, I don't remember. I don't. We don't. I don't have a price. I yet. know to plumb in the sink is three hundred bucks. I'm saying probably about three hundred bucks. Probably somewhere in there. Probably should be more with our new design. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. That's like <laughs> patent design. Yeah. Did you know the Moonshiners films in Cock County? Yeah, we know some of the guys who brothers and all that do that. But oh yeah. We know that they make water. They don't really make moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> Moonshine's illegal unless it's taxed. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, listen, if you want moonshine, we can get you the real deal. Yeah, no, we can't. <laughs> yeah, the sample. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff around here. You guys want to come and visit. Hey, hopefully when we get that beach ready, we're going to have homes ready for you guys to stay in. You know? All right. All right, we good? Yep. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Amanda will be back tomorrow for a Friday show. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to show you some stuff we're going to show you how to do some stuff tom and i were so busy today we couldn't even get to the camera until everybody was gone so we were slammed it's some exciting times here everybody yeah. we're really excited about what we're doing the financing coming in the buildings going on and um it's just a lot we're building rooms on the back the bunkhouse i mean the uh cabinet shop all kinds of stuff so cool what else am i missing Nope, they're saying good night. Thanks, everybody. Good night, everybody. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow and uh, probably be back during the day tomorrow, all right? Oh, well, they so, want the beach. Yeah, what's that? They want the beach. Can we go to the beach? Do you want to do it? Oh, I don't care. You walk out there real quick? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can. All right, we'll see if we can I'm carry the signal. Stuff there, we have to walk a few hundred feet away from the building, and that's where the Wi Fi is, so. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Hey, Got his door tinted today. Hey, can you show your house real quick? You can, yeah. This is Bryce's house. He got he got the all the windows are tinted, and then we got the door tinted too. You got your coat in? Yeah. Nope, no rain right now. We got a little break. Hey, you want to show us? Yeah, I mean, not house, really man. much. This is Bryce. This is he's my son. How big is this house, buddy? Eight by eighteen. Go ahead, Tom. All right. And then, um. We looked at the little yesterday. Let's check the bathroom out. We didn't see the commode. Um, bathroom is about 90 inches long, so about 80 feet. So a little bit more than a regular RJ, which is 8 by 18, so I had some more room to play. So um, we just have the shower set. I got the toilet set today, and then I'm working on putting in the tankless water heater. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Got the vent run so far. Uh-huh. Nice. Nice. And then um, install the puck lights, the puck light boxes. You've seen a bunch of those. Um, much other than that, it's almost wrapped up. We don't have much left to do inside here. Rob's still painting my countertop or my cabinet, so um, we'll still see how that works out. But he's got a bunch of different colors. We've talked about a bunch of different stuff, so we'll see how it works out. It looks great so far, so... I'm hoping to wrap up the inside of the house by this week and this weekend I'll be working. So really all I need to do is finish the metal on the outside and then install my lights and pick out my really appliances and stuff and then I'll be about wrapped up. So hopefully we can get this all wrapped up by this week or the middle of next week or the end of next week yeah. and I'm trying to get it done. Yeah. What are you going to do with your floors? I was thinking about sanding and polyurethaning. Um, I might stain them to get a different color. Mm -hmm. I literally just came up with that idea right now, so it just popped up in my head. I don't know yet. I could lay um, that pop and lock flooring. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do, but I really just need to finish it so I can get in here because I'm driving an hour home and an hour back right now, so it's a little bit of a hiccup in my day, but um, we'll get it done. So, cool. Yeah. You painting your front door? Yeah, I don't know what color, what color to go with the rest of the house. I was thinking about 
black or um, even like a not like a teal, um, like a titanium gray. They do have um, what is it? Uh, it's like a stainless steel paint. Hmm. Like, it's yeah, that like appliance color. paint. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, oh, it's yeah, that color. Yeah. See, I might be able to paint the door that color too. So I don't know. I Rob likes really using lacquer based paint, but you have to yeah, use. Yeah, it's awesome. But do they have that in the exterior? It's, yeah. I think so. We'll get the uh, the place to make it up. They'll yeah. make something. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, and then they want to know how your 40 foot container is doing too. Is it oh, getting there? <laughs> well, you're concentrating oh, on this right yeah. now. Yeah, all my efforts in this right yeah. now because this is what I'm going to live in. Yeah. So you'll wrap that up in a couple of weeks after you're done with this. You'll jump over there and knock it out. Yeah, the container room really doesn't yeah. have a lot of stuff to do. It's mostly finished work. Yeah. So you're um, waiting for a buyer anyway. So they need to buy it. Yeah, so we can go. comes a knocking. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're open. Yeah. But yeah. Um, Anytime you want to come by and look at that, it'd be, it'd be nice. It's here. It's back in the property. So come by and look at it. It made it through the train track. <laughs> yeah, it did twice. Yeah. Over and back. All right. Let's go look at the prayer. That's good. All right. Thank you, buddy. See you, man. Prairie not prairie, beach. not prairie, beach. Whatever. Yeah, everything there. blends. Yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. Is Tom shaking? He's got we, he's got the carpenter shakes. <laughs> we both. I'm trying. We both started shaking what Tom um, ten years ago. Yeah, what are you talking about? Wow, that's a nice day. Mm-hmm. No rain. I won't be able to make it. We'll look at the prairie from a distance. Yeah, it's way over there. It's just the pasture. Um, the concrete sawing has been. Let me tell you how it's. It, I can show you the layout of the how we sawed the concrete up. Um, we're actually looking into ordering all the trees, the palm trees, the vegetation right now. And start if we get them early, we'll just set them out here and water them, take care of them until we can plant them. This right here, you can kind of see how it's laid out right now with the homes. They're not in in the position they will be when it's finally done, but it gives you an idea of a little bit about what it's going to look like. I like it because there's no gravel, there's no mud, there's nothing, and it's hard core. So over here, we've got one more cut tomorrow to make. Oh yeah, the ditch is open. Yep, yeah, well that's the secondary power. The primary has already been put in, and then the secondary will go in, all right? There's gonna be a big cut right here, six foot wide. So all this concrete, from this, from this mark here to here is going to come out of there, and we're putting a big tree, a tree hedgeway right here between the beach and the factory. So we'll have a bunch of pine trees, evergreens. will be a big hedge right through here. So from this flag, from this flag right here, all right, mm -hmm. to where that's cut is one lot. So this is one lot right here. So what's gonna happen is we're popping this concrete out to this edge. We're really taking it all out all the way across because we gotta put sewer all the way across, right? Right. So then what I think is really unique about what we're doing here. Kind of slick, you gotta watch. Um look, look at, look at slime. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is your sewer is coming this way. Well your sewer's coming in here and gonna go but you got your electric and your water coming in here. We're gonna turn and it's gonna come up underneath the house. It's not coming up to the side. So if you want to underpin, all your utilities comes up underneath the house. You hook them up and you're done. The reason I'm doing that is because the majority of our homes here are not on an RV. They're not gonna be leaving here every other night or staying here for a week and leaving. And we don't want any electric, sewer, anything exposed out here the water lines like you do at an rv place you get all the lines exposed everything will be under the house so every single lot like you can see here goes in and then the utilities go up so as you can see this home will be set near the edge right right and it comes up underneath so you got your home and then you got your parking now this is 40 feet deep 
So you can actually have two cars end to end. And then back here, we're gonna plant trees where that power line is. We're gonna plant trees back here. Now this is just a little 16 footer. It can go out another eight or 10 feet towards the street. And it's gonna give you a courtyard in the back here. Mm. So you're gonna have a big tree line, the entire perimeter. Right. And then you can have a, actually a barbecue court yard back here. Yeah. We actually just sold one the other day and she's going to have steps come out of her side door, come around the back and have lawn furniture out back here. Cool. Any questions? Nope. Very well. Not that out. I've read. Very well thought out. Yeah. Yes. And that goes with every, so we are completely cut, 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 cut nine this way, nine there. That's 18 homes on this side. And then, and then the other side of that dirt, you got 18 more homes on that side. Yep. Right. Yep. And when all the concrete comes out, all the infrastructure goes in, and then we plant trees. Now, right here in the middle of this. Yeah, all the concrete where it's been cut comes out. Yes. Obviously, the house pad stays and now, the driveway, the parking lot. Right here, what I think is awesome is you got a lane. So, this is Malibu. Malibu Lane, you come up, you make a turn. This is a horseshoe street, right? And you'll turn. drive out over here all this middle part this is six foot wide comes out all that concrete can you see that mm -hmm. all that in the middle of this is coming up out of the ground all this comes up and that'll stay out it stays up that'll be planter and all that i won't build a canal <laughs> i'm gonna i want to build it and do something here that's beach it's gonna have trees and palm trees this is a boulevard everybody isn't it awesome? So your sewer is gonna come all the way across, all the way across, we had to run all the way here. And then this portion will be poured back concrete because this is this is actually, I gotta dig it up, put the sewer and power in it, and then we gotta pour concrete back on top of it. Cool. Well, you I found your uh, contractor's license test scores, right? So you got that going? Yes. Yeah. Yep, you had to finally find all that stuff. Which was, wasn't very hard. It's just people down there, if they knew what they were doing, they could've yeah. found it. Yeah, yeah, we called a couple times and they didn't even know who I was. Oh, and other times, oh yeah, we'll send it to you. We got that, and then we get to do the submitting again. So yeah. it's just the hoops that we have to jump through. Took the contractor's test twice already. So once in 92 and once in 2013. Yeah. All right. Cool. Good? Yep, This good. is it, everybody. This is the beach. And then way over there where that big red house is, over there with the tree line, is the prairie. And that is going to be our Western-themed community. Yep. All right. Everybody have a good night. All right. Go home. See you guys. See you tomorrow.